everybody welcome back to the episode of king tech i'm your host Corey here and we're back with another video and in this video i want to talk to you about my galaxy z flip 3. i've had this phone since september uh, with the new s22 coming around the corner i'm thinking about upgrading so i kind of want to give you all um, a long-term view of this phone what i've been liking about it what i've been hating about it and just talk to you all about the phone okay so let's just get into it let's go All right, so we've talked previously about these pillars of a good smartphone. And plenty of other YouTubers have talked about this as well, but when you talk about a smartphone, there are generally some pillars that make up a good smartphone. When all these things are good, the smartphone is usually good. All right, first up, you have the durability of the phone, you know, the design of it. Um, those two things kind of go hand in hand sometimes. Uh, next, you're gonna have the screen. That's what you're interacting with the most, so you gotta have a nice screen. Uh, you wanna talk about the battery life you want to talk about the software on the phone and then you also want to talk about the camera and then there are some intangibles you can throw in here and there that make up a good smartphone so let's approach this phone with those things in mind first of all design a a plus like the fact that you can fold a phone like that is just crazy full-size phone when you need it when you don't need it you shut you fold it shut and stick it in your pocket and you're good to go it definitely saves on space. Right, from a durability standpoint, a lot of people have been having questions about this phone, whether or not it's durable, whether or not you know it can stand up to test time. From my point of view, over the last four or so months, it's a pretty durable phone. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. I did take my screen protector off, so that's not on there anymore. So, because I, I kind of wanted to feel the glass of the phone, and it feels amazing. Um, the phone is water resistant now, so if you know you do happen to get it wet. You can get it wet, it won't be a problem. It's not dust resistant, however, though, so be careful around dust or sand. Um, definitely keep it away from those kind of things. So overall, you don't have to baby this phone as much as you would think you would since it folds and since it has so many gaps and stuff in it, but you do have to take care of it. One cool thing from a design standpoint and also that has a lot to do with the durability of the phone, the screen is actually recessed inside the body of the phone. So if you drop this phone face down, the screen is actually gonna be the last thing that gets hit. So that's actually pretty cool. So you do have some thoughtful design that also lends towards the durability. Um, there's also some bristles in the hinge that kind of keep dust out of the phone. So Samsung has thought a lot about the durability of this phone and they provided a lot of helpful, you know, design features that also help keep the phone durable. So kudos to them. Definitely loving the durability of this phone. Haven't had any issues. The hinge is strong. You don't hear any creaking, anything like that. You can slam it shut. I have nothing, no complaints about the durability of the phone. Let's move on to the screen. Uh, let's just keep it simple and short. Samsung makes great screens. This is a great screen. You'll have nothing to complain about when it comes to this screen. Uh, 120 Hertz, full HD, everything looks beautiful, colors pop. It gets bright enough outdoors. You won't have any issues. Next up, and this is probably the biggest pain point I have with this phone is the battery life. This phone will not make me feel full day for me. Um, I'll be lucky if I get 12 hours out of this phone. Like it's a second of an eight and it lasts at 8, 8, 8 p.m. That's a, that's a good day, that's a lucky day. Generally, it's dead by four, four o'clock, you know, three o'clock. I generally only get about two and a half, maybe at the most three hours swearing on time with it. So with that being said, this is not the phone for a power user. This is not the phone if you need to be going all day with the same battery, if you don't, you know, live at a desk for the most of your life, or you have a charger next to you. This is not that phone. So keep that in mind when trying to make a purchase decision on this. Do not buy this if you are at all concerned about battery life. Next up, let's talk about the cameras. Um, these cameras are okay. They'll get the job done. They're not bad cameras. They're just Decent. They're good. They're above average, but they're not excellent. They're not going to be like your S21 Ultra or your iPhone 13. They're not going to be cameras like that. There are cameras that if you need to snap a quick, couple quick pictures, they'll do the job. Um, Samsung, Samsung has incorporated a lot of cool features and software into the camera. So, you know, you, the fact that you can fold this phone, you can hold it at an angle and get some cool shots. Um, so Samsung's done a lot to make taking pictures on this phone fun but the actual camera isn't the best. It's good, like I said, but not the best. But from a software standpoint, moving on from the camera, this phone, I think, does a very good job of taking advantage of the form factor. Like 
I said, the camera app has different tricks in it. Um, and when you're on duo making video calls, the fact that you can, you know, pop the phone like this on the table, um, it moves everything up to the top of the screen. You know, it, it gives you a lot of neat tricks um, that you can use um, for the fact, the fact that this phone flips and folds. Now, with that being in mind, let's actually talk about is it worth buying this phone? Um, like I said, we talked about the software, we talked about the durability of it, we talked about the cameras, talked about the battery life. With all that being in mind, keeping in mind that this phone was $1,000 when it came out, and you can probably get it for a lot cheaper now, would I still recommend, recommend buying this phone? And the answer is yes. If you're not the kind of person that needs amazing battery life or an amazing camera, I know those kind of things are two like really good things, but this phone has so many different other things that it can do and offer you besides those things that I think is worth a look. The fact that you're going to have this phone that folds up, it can fit in tight pockets, or you know, when you need the regular phone, you unfold it. That's really cool. You can't you can't put a value on that. Um, I, well, I guess you can, but the value for this is really good at thousand dollars. Next, the fact that you're going to be the coolest person at the party is going to be awesome. So people are going to always come up to you like, "Oh man, what is that? Did you just fold that phone? Oh, that's crazy!" Like you're going to get so many comments and compliments on the phone. People are going to want to see it. They're going to want to fold it. They're going to want to do, "Oh, do you just hang up on people?" You know, like that. Like everybody's going to want to see the phone, hold the phone. You know, that's, so that's a cool factor. But overall, I think if you're in the market for this phone and you've been thinking about pulling the trigger, just go ahead and do it. You'll love it, you'll like it. Like I said, you'll you'll have fun with it, which is, you know, it's tech. You, you know, we're supposed to have fun with it. It's not, it's not, it's, it doesn't be anything serious, okay? So just enjoy it. Uh, but that wraps it up. I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment down if you have any questions, you know, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, all right? I appreciate you all watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.